Welcome to the screencast of the added mass. Say we have a vessel over here. So there's a vessel and we have the water. Something over there. Okay. Then um, we could say this is the beam of the vessel. B. And we have the draft of the vessel D over here. Well, if the vessel starts moving upwards and downwards, the heave, the heave movement, what will happen is that the vessel pushes away the water over here. So this goes down, down, and it pushes the water upwards here. So you get a kind of a small wave over there, and we have a wave over there. Um, interesting to see that the, this is in fact um, an equivalent of the bow wave of a vessel, but then in the vertical direction. And what it does, it dampens the vertical movement. So uh, the water which is moved away over here, so the, the hull is going down. So this, say this is the the deepest position that the water is pushed aside, which is going upward. We could say that the um, the added mass, so we have the a virtual mass equals the mass of the ship added by the added mass MA. So how, how can we calculate uh, this? Well, you could say that the um, the added mass is something like the actual mass times uh, B divided by 2 times the draft. So that's the idea. Having that in mind, we could look at a another vessel with slightly different dif dimensions. So this is a vessel which is not as wide as the previous one so um, we have the B again over here and because the B so this is B2 and say this is B1 and B2 is smaller than B1 uh, we have a draw 2 and a draw 1 over here so you could say that this vessel is going deeper in the water than the previous one you also see that the amount of water which is pushed away or pushed downward is smaller so we get a smaller wave up there and a smaller wave up there so the added mass is actually a function of the beam to draft ratio if you put it in a kind of graph you could say that if vertically you have the something like um, the added mass divided by the actual mass and here we have a beam to draft ratio so this is a B divided by the draft we could sketch a line uh, which is something like this meaning that if we have a beam to draft ratio of say more or less 2 then here Going to the left, we have a figure of one. So, going on, that if we have a four, this would give us a two over there. Okay, so um, the added mass is a function of the beam to draft ratio. Okay, that's a thing to remember. Back to the beginning, the um, dynamic effect of pushing away the water gives a dampening effect. Um, it's not a dampening on speed, but it's a dampening of the acceleration. So sometimes the added mass is also called a hydrodynamic. Uh, mass. 
And what it does, it gives a dampening on acceleration. Okay. Well, thanks for watching.